IVF and egg freezing. A lot of women feel life is very unfair as far as their reproductive options go because men can continue having babies whether they're 40 or they're 50 or they're 60 or they're 70 because the testis keeps on producing sperms all the time. But for women, once they become menopausal, they can't have a baby anymore. And in fact, their fertility starts dropping after the age of 35 because the ovaries start running out of eggs because ovaries don't produce any new eggs anymore after birth. And all those eggs will start getting depleted as the woman keeps on getting older. And when she runs out of eggs, she becomes menopausal. But 10 years before the menopause, she will have a phase called the oopause or poor ovarian reserve where she has enough egg quality to produce enough hormones to get regular periods, but not enough to make a baby. And the trouble is she has no idea whether her egg quality is good enough or not. And just because she's physically healthy and has regular periods doesn't mean that her ovarian reserve is good enough. And that's why you need to explore all your options and understand that it is possible for you to increase your chances of getting pregnant in the future if you decide to postpone childbearing by freezing your eggs. But it's not a panacea and it's an expensive treatment, so you need to explore your options. The good news is the technology is great. All good IVF clinics will now freeze eggs using a technology called vitrification, which has an extremely high success rates as far as freezing and thawing your eggs go. But you need to make a well-informed decision. And when you're making a decision, first use your brains. Is this something which I want to do? Then listen to your heart. What are the pros? What are the cons? And then worry about the logistics. Just because technology is available doesn't mean you need to use it blindly. You need to make a well-informed decision. But the good news is it can act as a reproductive insurance policy for young women who want to postpone childbearing for their own personal and professional reasons.